Oh, God, stupid alarm. Whew. All right, coffee, coffee, coffee. Let's have some coffee. Ooh, so tired. Coffee delicious. Oh, hello. What, what are you doing there? Huh? What is this? I know it's 6 a.m., but, you know, whiskey. <laughs> I like the way you think. <laughs> you know what? Screw it. I want both. Let's do both. Welcome back, guys, and today we are mixing coffee and whiskey. This is the Espresso Old Fashioned. Oh, yeah. Look at that delicious coffee. So we are using Bullet Bourbon, Vino's favorite bourbon. Um, 60 second approved. <laughs> and of course, we're using fresh espresso. Very important. Okay, so look at that crema. Look at that beautiful coffee foam, espresso foam on top. This is gonna be good, I know it. But stick around to the end because I did make a giant mistake and we will fix that mistake. So follow along with me and learn. Okay, so we're using bourbon, we're using espresso and some bitters and a little bit of simple syrup. It's a really easy recipe. Okay, so first thing to do is our espresso, one and a half ounce, so one and a half shots of espresso in. I used enough grounds for a double shot, so this is some pretty strong espresso. Now, next up is the bourbon. I was gonna use the jigger, but since there's so much crema left in the shot glass, I'm just gonna use that to pour uh, equal amounts, ounce, ounce and a half of bourbon. That way it's going to uh, soak up all that leftover foam. Beautiful. After that, we're gonna do uh, two bar spoons of simple syrup. That's the sweetness amount that I want. You can, you can go up, you can go down. Make it your drink, as sweet as you want. After that, two dashes of Angostura bitters. And that's it, that's the drink. It's that simple, it's just, coffee, whiskey, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of bitters, and then we mix. So we're going to stir this drink. So lower in some ice, and we're gonna give it a quick stir. Now here's where the first mistake, I kinda saw it coming. I was worried that the uh, hot espresso would melt too much ice. I didn't think too much of it, because you know, when you make an espresso martini, um, you dump that hot espresso right in there and it doesn't make a difference, but yeah, we, we shall see. All right, so we're serving this in a uh, rocks glass with a nice big chunk of clear ice, clear ice balls, love those things. Okay, julep strainer, and we're just gonna do our pour into our glass. Oh, that looks so good. Okay, for garnish, we're going to do a simple lemon peel, give it a little twist, and place it there, it looks nice. All right, that is our espresso old fashioned. And I must say, it was thoroughly disappointing. Yeah, I didn't like this at all. Um, as expected, the coffee melted way too much of the ice, it ended up being watered down, the bourbon was bad. So let's rewind the tape and let's fix this, shall we? So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a tip from a subscriber, Stéphane Foisy, who is a bottomless pit of amazing cocktail information and knowledge. And we're going to infuse some bourbon with coffee. So I'm just gonna do a small amount here, two ounces of, sorry, four ounces of bourbon. And for every two ounces, you want about a tablespoon of whole coffee beans. So we did four ounces of bourbon, so I got two tablespoons here of uh, coffee beans. And we're just gonna let that infuse overnight. So it doesn't, it's not a long infusion, don't leave that out for a week. You just need overnight, 12 hours. There you go, look how dark that is. So the coffee beans have kind of um, swelled up, they've released a lot of goodness into the bourbon. So you know the drill, we just gonna grab another jar, grab a funnel with a line with some coffee filters, I pre-wet those filters, and then we just dump the mix inside and strain out the coffee beans. It smells amazing, it smells like 
yeah, coffee bourbon. You could drink this on its own. Coffee bourbon neat would be fantastic. Um, I should have done more. <laughs> All right, so let's start over then. We've got our coffee infused bourbon. We've got our, our fresh espresso, but we did leave it out to chill a little bit. So it's like room temperature at this point. And we are swapping out the Ango for coffee bitters, Dylan's coffee bitters. So I really want to ramp up that, uh, that coffee flavor this time around. Okay, so same as before, dump that espresso, mmm, crema. And then we will use our coffee infused bourbon. And again, using the same shot glass so we can soak up all that leftover foam. It's good stuff, don't get rid of it. All right, and after that we have our bitters. We're gonna do um, about four bitters this time, four dashes, sorry, of our coffee bitters. Dylan's coffee bitters. This dash is kind of slowly, so that was a little more than four dashes. But don't worry. And then don't forget two bar spoons of simple syrup. I almost forgot. Again, you can up that to a quarter ounce, a half ounce if you want it sweeter. Fill with ice. We just did this, so you know, we're just back at the same spot. And we're gonna give it a stir. So yeah, this, this one here, I'm gonna make sure to stir not too fast, but it, we shouldn't have the same issues because the espresso was not really chilled, but it was at uh, room temp. Excellent, okay. Grab a rocks glass once again with another big, nice, clear ice, and then let's strain into the glass. And hopefully this time around, we have created something much better. Let's garnish the same way with our nice lemon peel, express it, give it a twisty twist, and place it on there so it looks pretty. And there it is, the espresso old fashioned. Did we succeed this time? <laughs> oh my God, that's amazing. Okay, so this time around, yeah, flavor bomb. Um, the coffee infused bourbon is amazing. The, the strong espresso did not dilute uh, too much in the water, in the ice. Um, I, just a beautiful drink. If you love coffee, if you don't like coffee, don't make this. But if you love coffee, I try this out. You will love it. Um, the bourbon is, is present, but it's, you know, it's really, this is a coffee drink. So the bourbon's there, but coffee is number one here. Uh, oh yeah, just give this a try. It's amazing. I could have these every morning. <laughs> Odin doesn't agree that, you know, we should drink in the morning, but no, screw him. Yeah, I said it. What are you going to do? All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Cheers.